Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, remove tracks and then replace tracks on a T1 X2 and a T1 V2. Uh, this actually is even for the T Mini. Uh, T1 X3 is actually identical and the T1 X4. So all of the smaller and mid-sized tugs, uh, this is how you're going to be uh, replacing it or taking them off and putting them back on. So to do this, what you're going to need is a small <laughs> hammer. Um, I've got a ball peen hammer here. You can use whatever kind of hammer you actually have. It could be a claw hammer, doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna need a 3 16 Allen wrench. I've got a T-handle here. Uh, not necessarily need a T-handle, but this is more uh, handy if you actually got one. And then I need some kind of a pry bar. I've got a little small crowbar here. Um, you can use a large screwdriver as well. And, um, that will be needed and then also in the uh, tug itself there's a little box with some components and there's a little tool in there that you will need to be able to uh, put the clips back on okay so now to take the track off what i need to do is loosen the track and to do that there's three screws there's one right there one right there and one right there and I'm going to use my 3 16 Allen wrench to loosen those. So I'm going to loosen this one, not take it out, but just loosen it about a half a turn. And these will be Loctited in place, so you might have to give them a little bit of extra turn strength to be able to turn them. So I'm going to turn all of these about a half a turn. Okay, and you can see the track now is loose. So that's what you want there. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the little roto clip on here. And what I want to do is make sure that the pin that I'm going to be removing is being supported by this very front sprocket. So it's got to be all the way up here in the front to be able to do that. So I've got it in the front now. I'm going to tap this a couple times until that clip falls off. You'll see it fall off. There it fell off. So now I've got the pin exposed and I can push the pin all the way out with my Allen wrench. And now the track is loose and ready to take off. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the new track on. And to do that, what I need to do is take the track and I'm going to feed it through the back here and put the track engagement onto the sprocket. And then I want it to come all the way forward so I can engage on this front sprocket as well. Now I'm gonna take these clips, the little uh, links, and I'm gonna bring them up from the top and set them in, in that position right there. If they're hanging down, here, it's gonna be very difficult later to maneuver them around where you need them. So put them up on the top, both sides. Get this one over here. So both sides oriented like that, okay? Got the back engaged, got the front engaged. Now I'm gonna bring the bottom up and I'm gonna engage it as well into that sprocket. So now, the top and the bottom are both engaged in the sprocket. So next I've got to install the pin from the other side. Okay, now to install the pin, I'm going to hold, it's now I'm holding the track together the whole time here with my fingers. And then I'm going to bring the clips into position so the hole lines up and put the pin through the hole and it's gonna go into the track and I might have to kind of manipulate it a little bit and I can tap it with my hammer until it just barely starts to come out the other side. Okay, so it's coming out the other side. Now I need to take the links and line them up with the hole and I can push that pin through the rest of the way. So now the pin's all in the links are in place, and it's ready to put the clip on the on the end of it. 
Okay, so now I've grabbed the tool out of the um, out of the tug accessory parts accessory bag, and this tool has a little cutout on one side of it. And I'm going to take my new clip because I destroyed the clip that I took off. So I got to take a brand new clip, and it has little fingers on it. You can see the fingers, and those are pointing in inward or outward, and uh, just depend on what the orientation is. You want to put the clip into the tool so that those little fingers are pointing in towards the inside of the tool. So once you've got that on there, then you're ready to go ahead and put this onto the uh, pin. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the clip onto the pin. So to keep the pin from pushing out of the, um, the other side of the track, I'm gonna hold it with my flat part of the uh, hammer that I've got. And I'm gonna take the clip and put it up onto the pin and then just push it on. And it clicks into place. And now I just wanna verify that this clip turns. If it turns, then it's all the way on and it's good. So that is fully installed and ready to tighten up the tracks now. Okay, so now to tighten up the track, I'm gonna take my pry bar, or again, you can use a very large screwdriver and put it right in here between the front part and the back part. There's a, there's a little, uh, uh, it's a groove there that is uh, separation of the two parts. Once you're in there, you can actually pry this. And sometimes you might need two people to do this, one to pry and then the other one to actually tighten the, the bolts. So while I'm holding this down, I'm going to get my wrench and I'm gonna snug up. So I'm pulling on the pry bar and I'm gonna snug up one of those screws and it should stay in place. Now I can see how the tension is. So you want it to be about a half an inch of movement. Now what you do wanna make sure that your sprockets are engaged Otherwise, it might not be tension. Now that one was not engaged, and this one's not engaged. So now I'm actually gonna have to tighten it a little bit more. So I'm gonna re-put the pry bar in here. I'm gonna loosen that one screw that I had tightened up. And I'm going to pry again on this front part. And again, it's a lot easier if you have two people doing this. One to do the prying and the other one to do the tightening. Okay. Okay, so now I got this snugged up and these sprockets are engaged. And I've only got the one screw snugged up. So those are all engaged. I've got it's pretty tight. It's only about a half an inch of movement. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten up these other two screws. So I'm tightening that one up and this one here. I'm going to re-snug this one just a little bit more. Okay, it's good. And that's how to replace your track and re-snug uh, it up for the T1 X2, 3, 4, T1 V2 and the T Mini. So that does it. Then you'll put the side covers back on inside and outside and, uh, and that's it.